What's up YouTube? Today what we're going to do is run through how to build a quick dashboard looking at KPIs, things like that. Uh, really the way you would do it if you had to do it kind of spur of the moment, quick, get it in there. So let's say here's our first data set. We're going to start off with some pivot tables. Just get it out there, see what the feelers are. Click in your data, insert. We're assuming that you already exported this from another source. Pivot table. Yep, we'll put it on an existing worksheet, sure. And we'll put it on here, right here. Hit OK. Now we have this. So what we want definitely is our player name. We want the rank right here. And we'll do, let's say we want three pointers. How many do they have? So we'll go rank. We want to see the top five. Click here in the filter, one, two, three, four, and five. We've got those. And then what we can do here, just copy that thing. We'll paste it again. It's going to keep the same parameters for the most part. We'll just go here, highlight these two columns, double click, spreads it out. Instead of three pointers, all we do is remove that. And we'll go to two pointers. Then we'll copy it again right there and we still have our top five selected here we didn't have to do it again but just to check we dragged rank right into the filters went to multiple items here select multiple and one two three four five you can change it add more or take away some if you want but we'll go instead of two pointers I want to see points so we have that and we are looking at our average here, so we'll go value field settings. Oh yeah, to do that, you go to values. If you want to change this from sum to average, anything like that, you just go over here, click this, this little check mark, value field settings, average, okay. You'll see that we have that. It should edit. Now let's say we want to do a field goal percentage, why not? Sure. We'll do that, and again, we just drag this out. We go here, and we'll go with field goal percentage. Drag it in there. Yep. Now what we could do is the formatting, all that stuff. So you make that percentages and so on. Maybe we want to make it pretty. Click on your design, the color. Click, click. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. So anywhere in the table, design tab, drop down pick your color and I usually do banded rows and columns right there banded rows and columns again but here's the trick we want to change it this is 2019 2020 how do we do that we have the top 25 players here but let's say we exported our new data we got this we have to update it so we'll just take this and you can do control shift right arrow down arrow to get all of it copy it control C go right here paste it over and because we have the same amount of data the same number of cells all that good stuff what we're gonna do is just right here you click on this pivot table analyze refresh analyze you don't always have to do it for all of them in some older versions of Excel you will have to do that so as a just a matter of habit I do it on all of them but there you go so if you want to go back to the old way control Z as many times as you did it, there it is. And control Y if you want to redo it. So 2019, 2020, and going to 2020, 2021, control Y, bang. You have an updated report that is super quick, fast, efficient, and it should, <clears throat> excuse me, should get the job done for the most part. And you can flex it or make it flexible, anything like that. So there you go. If this has been helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you did or didn't like, what you want to see next. And until then, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.